Okay, we're going to learn a little bit about an app called Brushes. So go down at the bottom, you can see that there's a paint palette. That's Brushes. We're going to press on that. And you ha can see that we kind of have a theme going on here. This is a uh, ornament that we're going to be making today. So up in the right hand corner, there is a plus sign. Please click on the plus. You're going to notice a lot of different options if you swipe your finger right and left on here. These are many different canvas sizes that you can go with. We're going to go iPad Pro. If I click tap right on top of the canvas, you can see that it can adjust its size. We want this to be vertical instead of horizontal. So up and down. Once you have that, hit the blue create up in the corner. That's going to bring us right here. We're going to go through the tools on the bottom of this app. The first one here is for color. If we go along here, this shows the value of a color, how light and how dark a color becomes. If I go around the circle, I can change the, the hue, the color of it. I don't care which one you choose right now, go ahead and choose a color. The next two parts are a brush and an eraser down there at the bottom. The brush is going to be for drawing, the eraser is going to be for removing. Now there's this swish look. If I click on that, we're going to have a bunch of different brush op options. For this assignment here, we're going to need a nice solid brush. Obviously, I've been creating that nice solid brush a couple of times. If you do not have a nice solid brush, go ahead and click on one, hit edit. We'll go all the way over until we find a nice circle. That's usually the second one from the left. Now we're going to adjust this to make it solid. So hardness goes up to 100%, intensity 100%, angle, spacing, and jitter is down to zero, and so is scatter. I'm going to push this up so that I can make sure that all three dynamics are in the center as well. See how that gives me a nice solid brush? That's what we need. Then the next little part here, this is a slide bar that can change the size of your eraser and your brush. And we're just going to make one line across here. And you see next to the slide bar over here to the right, there's like an arrow that's a curly cue. If I hit that arrow, it undoes and it redoes. So there we go, that's undo and redo. I'm gonna go back to gallery. So that's up in the left hand corner. Sometimes when I ask you to close your iPad, it'll bring you back here. In order to get into our painting, we're going to click back on it and you're going to have this option, a play button and swipe to paint. Go ahead and swipe and that lets you edit again. The first thing that you'll do is create a very nice big circle. I'm going to play with the size a little bit because we want that circle to be filled in as well. So there we go, a nice circle. Okay, now you take the time to do that. Great. Okay, the next part, down in the right-hand corner, there is a number. It's on number one right now. This is a very important part to the app brushes. I'm going to click on the number one and then click on the plus sign up in the corner, in the right-hand corner. See how this creates, this is actually like another piece of paper for my artwork. So I have a new piece of paper and it's blue around that piece of paper. So that means I know I'm going to be coloring on that piece of paper. I'll choose a new color. This time I'm going to do a nice dark, dark color. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to make this much larger and paint over the entire page, filling it in. Now that we have our top layer and our bottom layer, we're actually going to switch them. So you see those three lines on the side? If I put my finger directly on that, I can pull this layer down and bam, it ends up underneath the layer that I did first. So I can switch these around, which is a very powerful thing. 
go ahead and create your background. When you're finished, hit the plus button. Let's add a new layer. Remember, the layer that's on the top is the one that we're going to see. So I'm going to push this one all the way to the top. Notice it's blue all the way around that piece of paper or that layer. So I know that's the one I'll be drawing on. I'm going to choose a new color again. And this time I'm increasing my canvas. So how did I do that? I did a pinch motion with my finger. And that makes, whoa, that is not what I want. I'm going to undo that, make my brush size smaller, and draw my topper. Try it one more time. Draw my topper to my ornament. Okay, let's just double check. Is it on the right layer? Yep, I can keep going here. Okay, there we have it. Now, if I pinch in again, now I can kind of see what it looks like. Hit the layers over on the side. I have a topper layer, a circle layer, and a background layer. I want another layer. This time, I'm going to be making some details, some designs on my ornament. So changing the color, changing the size, going to increase this a little bit. And I'm thinking about the circular shape of my ornament. It's kind of rounded, so that means that when I add my lines on it, my lines are going to be kind of curved as well. I'm going to do two different colors. Do you notice that I'm going right off the edge? That's an okay thing. I'll tell you why. This is going to teach us yet another skill with this amazing app. Going over to the side, I'm on layer four up here with the lines that I just created, and I'm going to go down here where it says 100%, and I'm going to put it down to 50%. Do you see how the transparency changes? So that means that I can see through this layer, at least for right now. I'm going to increase this, get my eraser, and be able to clean up the edges of my ornament. Okay, let's go back. Look at how nice and crisp that looks. If I want that to be 100% again so that I can't see through it, I can just increase it like that again. Really neat trick. And you know what? It was a student who taught me this one. So go ahead and make a couple of curved lines, work the transparency, and then edit it by erasing your extra. Okay, here is the final instruction. I'm going to put that back up to 100%. We have a really nice ornament looking right now. And I'm going to hit the plus button again for one more layer. This is the last layer we'll be adding. Now at this layer, we're going to add all the details. So details might be adding, oh, that's too big for me. Man, I love that undo button. That really helps out. Let's say that I think I'm done with my design. Looks pretty good. I have a total of five layers, which was what we really wanted to learn about was layers on this app. But I haven't even showed you the neatest thing. If you go back to gallery, which is in the left-hand corner, you're going to see your artwork and possibly other people's artwork as well. Click on the one that we just made. Before I told you to swipe to paint or swipe to edit, but this time I'm going to have you push Play. When we push play, we see the whole process of how we created our artwork. This shows every mistake, everything that we did to create it. It's a great way to learn and explain how you made your art.